All right, Fast Side family, so see what's going on. It's the next day. We go over here at 876 Motorsports. And basically, I'm just giving you guys a little update on what's going on. So the car is going to be getting the Visconti Flex Fuel Kit. And this is just so I could run E, like an E mixture in my car safely. Because, you know, it's my first time mixing E and I don't want to mess anything up. So that's the Flex Fuel Kit right there. So basically this one is not like a regular flex fuel kit. This one is gonna um this one will program with my tune and my car will run off of base my car will run based off of any amount of E that I have in my car. So let's say I accidentally put E30 or E40, the the tune will adjust itself to the E30 or E40. Just in case if I don't get full E50, because you guys know I'm doing well you guys don't even know I'm doing E50, but you guys know now I'm doing E50. Well, that's what I plan to do. So that is what I'm doing. So yeah, but I do have to send out my DME to uh, get that thing unlocked because I kind of did it backwards. I bought the full tuning kit when I was supposed to get my DME unlocked and then buy the tuning kit with the license and all that. But I just went ahead and bought the whole license and tuning kit first. So it's, I mean, I could get it unlocked here, but I would have to pay more because I would have to get two licenses instead of having the one license. So I don't want to pay more and just, just for another license that I'm not really going to use. So I'm just going to send it out. It shouldn't even take that long. They said it should take like two, three days. So I'll, you know what I'm saying? We'll see how that goes. But for right now, we just getting the flexible kit installed and then I'm going to uh, see how I'm going to send my DME out and stuff like that. But at least it's not going like overseas. It's going in the States. So that's a good thing. But yeah, just a little update because we are at 876 Motorsports, man. So if you guys need any mods done or anything like that, make sure you guys come over to 876 Motorsports right here. What's going on, Fast Life family? So right now, currently, I'm loading on the tune into the car. So you guys see where it's at. I would have started my video earlier, but um, I kind of forgot that I was supposed to record this process that I wanted to. So right now, I was just writing up the memory. Um, we're going on for like about like what, two minutes now? We're at 92%. You know, we're getting all these warnings. You know what I'm saying? That's that's normal. If you guys watched the uh, the XHP flash video where I flashed my car with XHP, got the same, basically the same process, got the same warnings. But like I said, this is through ECU Tech, so. Please turn ignition off, okay? Turned off the ignition. Please turn ignition on. Okay. Please turn the ignition on. Okay. Programming completed successfully. All right. Close. So now I think I turn it off again. And I wait like what? 10 seconds? I think that's what he said. That's what they do, they wait like 10 seconds, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? What comes after seven? No, <laughs> fully done. No, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's, it's been 10 seconds. Okay, so now we just start the car. I believe so. Check engine light gone. I can hear any difference. Yo, it sounds different already. No, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. But um, okay, so I recorded this process and I'll put back up the video uh when I start the other process or whatever 
comes next i think i'll run logs next so pick up the video when i start running logs logs next i don't know if i'm gonna do that right now because i don't think he sent me any logs to run but i don't know i'm, I'm still trying to figure out this thing because remember it's uh this is my first time all right fast out family so i'm not gonna do too much i'm gonna just go forward go back and probably like drive like around the neighborhood a little bit see if um the throttle response is different or whatever i don't know this I, like i said this is my first time tuning a car like with an actual tune the jv4 on the q50 wasn't really a tune it was just a boost controller so this is like a actual you know tune so let me see let's see what's what's going on here so i'm gonna just go forward i'm gonna go back and then i'm gonna just like drive around the neighborhood a little bit see if i notice any difference If that FedEx truck is bringing my wheels. Whoa. Felt a difference already. In the world? Why I felt like that? Alright, let me see. different already yo <laughs> i don't know if i'm overreacting i don't know if i'm i don't know if i'm tripping but no i'm not tripping because like the thought of response is like and this is uncomfortable usually like this feels like it's in like a soft sport mode yeah, that makes sense i don't know that makes sense like there's no lag at all with the throttle. Yo, this is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna see um, if I'm supposed to uh, do some logs. I'm gonna wait till he emails me back, or whatever. And we'll see if I'm supposed to do some logs or whatnot. But hey, man, I wonder if the AC is messing you guys up. Turn it off. Hey, man. This uh, car feeling good. Machina, machina, machina feel good. Oh, but, and then my check engine light is gone, so yeah. So you know we tuned up. I'll, you know, get back to you guys when I realize what I'm doing. If I'm doing a log or you know stuff like that. So I'm gonna take you guys along this journey of my first time being tuned, and I'm over here paranoid for no reason. I don't know, but yeah. Um. I'll pick back up the camera when I pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also go get the merch so I can get more mods for the machine. Yeah. All right, Fast Life family. So basically, it's a few weeks after. And we just finished up installing the FlexSuit kit on the m340 on the machine so you can't really see where it's at but it's a little bit different with the m340s versus the supras with the visconti one so basically my lines are running way back there and then when you look right down in here the only part you can really see is when you look right down in here we had to do it through the lower the lower firewall instead of going through the upper firewall and then you know, it just runs down to down in here. But if you want to get your flex fuel kit installed, you know what I'm saying? Just come down to 876 Motorsports, but make sure, make sure you make an appointment and don't just walk in thinking that you're going to get everything done. So yeah, you see we out here, man. So come down to 876 Motorsports, they'll get your flex fuel kit done and installed for you. Make sure you guys make an appointment. Ain't that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't just pull up. Don't just pull up. Go, oh, I got an intake I want to put on. What you doing right now? Not putting on that intake. <laughs> Not putting on intake. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah so make sure you guys. The right amount of time to get it done right the first time. Exactly. So make sure you guys make your appointment. You could get a flex fuel kit installed and stuff like that. Down pipes that still have down pipes available. Yeah. So make sure you guys go get that. But yeah. So I'm a. Uh, I'm probably gonna throw this in the video where I'm doing my logs for my tune, cause yeah. you can't really see the flex fuel kit on how it's installed, but Winston knows how to do it, cause it's a little bit different with the M340 chassis. If you have a Supra, there's a whole guide for it, so you'll be fine. But with the M340, it's a little bit different. So, yeah. yeah get a little creative, but get the job done. Yep. And you can see the line. That's about it. Yeah, you can just see the line, yeah, and I show them right down in there. Where you um went through the lower part of the firewall. Flex fuel sensor is like right on the firewall behind, right up behind the motor up there. Yeah. Fire line goes to the hard line. So. All right, what's going on, Fast Side family? So now we about to start our logging. So I'm supposed to do um is sport mode traction all the way off, and I start my log do a third gear or fourth gear pull. I'm gonna do third gear because. This road to Mexico is um it's pretty it's it's long it looks like it's long enough for third gear so I'm gonna do third gear my first time doing this so you guys bear with me so yeah um third gear from three thousand rpm to sixty five thousand rpm like around there so we you gonna know, this thing in sport by the way this is my first time putting this thing in sport at all because I just been driving normally so this is gonna be my first time like you know actually driving driving the car. Okay, so now DSC is fully off. And then he said manual mode and everything like that. So I guess once I get to third gear, I start and then I stop and I send it over to him. All right, man, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Oh, your bomb crack. So I just sent that first log over to him. Not gonna lie, <laughs> I'm pretty sure like my car is turned all the way down right now. Um, yeah. So basically, I guess in the second, I don't know what happens next, but whatever happens next, I think that's when the car is gonna be making power. Um, I asked him if I should put some, if I should put the E50 mixture in my car, but he didn't respond. So I just did the log with 93. I think I'm supposed to just do it with 93 because he never told me to put E in the car. So I just did it with 93 and I sent it over to him because he told me to just do a data log 3000 RPM to 6500 RPM. Um, traction is that an M5? Bomba machine, that's an M5. So yeah, with um traction all the way off and stuff like that in manual mode third gear so i just did that log so we shall see yo yo what's up i'm just doing logs right now yeah bro it's mad dirty right now but thank you bro <laughs> so you you just testing out that car right now Oh, for real? Yeah. I'm able to come by the shop and see that? I'll, I'll come by right now because I'm just waiting on my second um my second revision to come in. Oh, yeah, Alright, I'm gonna pull up. Alright, fast up family. Look like we actually pulling up to the M-Tech shop. Man, big shot of the M-Tech. Ah, clock machine. Look fun the machine though. That's just yeah. boom. Oh, that thing sound crazy. Um, I need to look on the GPS because I don't know where the shop is at, so hold on. All right, fast up. Let me see we at the M Tech shop. Go that M5 over there. Go that um, M340 over there, 730 to the wheel. Go to machine. Bro, look at that M3 though. 
That M3 is nice, dog. I'm not gonna lie. That M3 is hard. I like that M3. That thing is nice. Yeah. Y'all yeah, here, man. Family. what's going on so basically this is the next clip but it's a lot is a little bit later and i had to clean up the wheels you know what i'm saying because the wheels had crazy brake dust for some reason the um the stock brake pads give off a lot of brake dust and like these wheels bro the brake dust was crazy on them so i had to clean them up now they're looking nice and shiny again you know what i'm saying it's a little quick clean and some tire shine. Make the machine look bad. Thing looking good again. Yes, sir. But, you know, um, this video basically, I'm just going to upload it because I've been holding on this video for too long and this whole sequence of tune in and stuff like that is just going to make this video be like 40, probably 50 minutes. Nobody don't want to watch no damn 40, 50 minutes of a video that's just, you know, not even, the car not even, like, fully dialed in and fully tuned yet. So, yeah, so basically, we tried to install the, um, actually, no, the flexible kit is installed, but it's just not picking up with the tune. I don't know why it's not picking up with the tune. Um, when I did my logs, the tuner, um, said, the tuner replied back saying that he's not seeing any of the flex fuel readings or you know what I'm saying? Or like ethanol content reading. Something like that. I don't know. It was... It's confusing. And like basically I'm kind of just... I was mad earlier, but now I'm just like... I don't know. I'm tired. So tomorrow is another day that we get to, you know, work on it and try to get this flexible kit paired up with the tune. Because right now the Visconti flexible kit is not pairing up with my tune for some reason. I don't know. I went back to 876 Motorsports. We checked the wires. We double checked everything still won't um pair up and work with a tune the tuner said there must be a uh a install uh failure or like we probably installed something wrong but i don't know we we're gonna see we're gonna figure this out we're gonna get the machine up and running up in tune you know what i'm saying soon i hope very soon i hope by tomorrow you know what i'm saying i can start doing logs again and actually feel the power of the car because as you guys saw in the first log I didn't really feel in much power. I thought it, like, you know what I'm saying? We didn't even, it felt slower than how it was when it was stock. So I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be on your first log, cause probably it's just turned all the way down. But like I said, it's my first time. So yeah, but this experience so far is making me wish that I never really tuned the car, but no, I, never mind. Let me not say that. But this experience is just a headache. That's that's all I gotta say. Cause like now it's like, I don't even know who to, um who to contact or who to go to. Cause we don't know what's going on with the flexible kit and the tune. So there's a, there's a few options I have. One of them, sell the car and walk on foot. Joke, man, I'll do that. But one of them is to um either try to get it solved, try to get it looked at. I don't know how, I don't know. We gonna figure it out, but we gonna figure out some type of way. Try to get it solved, try to get it looked at. Um, I'll probably, uh, see what M Tech gotta say, cause M Tech, I'll go back down over to M Tech and make them look at it, cause I know that they're they're more uh, familiar with Kagnan and his tune, cause that's my tuner, Kagnan. If that doesn't work and the Visconti flexible kit still doesn't work, that means it's probably a fault with the kit, or I probably just I don't know. We're probably just gonna take off the kit, and I'll probably just run like a regular fuel it, and just like be careful with the e mixture. Um, and stuff like that so i'll just take out the visconti one and run a fuel it one so i know how much e i have in the car at least to know at least how much e i have in the car and hopefully i think um Kagan is able to just switch switch off the flex fuel kit map and just give me a regular 93 e30 and e50 map that's basically the standing point right now on the bright side i'm able to drive the car but i just i just can't well, I mean, I can put it in a sport, but I just don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to beat on the car. So I'm right, right now, I'm just driving like it's a regular car. So I'm just driving, you know, speed limit. 
I mean, I always drive speed limit. I always drive speed limit, but you guys know what I mean. I'm driving like a normal NPC. But yeah, so that's just the standpoint. Um, I'm gonna end this video right here. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna make this all one video. So this is probably gonna be like a part two to this video. And I don't know when that video is gonna drop because we gotta figure this out. But hopefully it'll drop soon. So as soon as it drops, there's no, we gotta figure it out. But yeah, man. You can probably hear the disappointment in my voice. I'm still kind of mad, but I'm not really that mad anymore because we got another day to worry about it. We got another day to fix it. And we got another day to get stuff done. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to worry about this another day. We're going to get it done. And we're going to fix whatever needs to be fixed. Well, nothing needs to be fixed. But you know, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. We don't know how the thing go already. But yeah, at least the machine look good. Shine up the wheels then. I do have a custom front license plate for it because I'm going to do that instead of having the holes right there. But I don't know. I, I'm not too sure about that license plate yet. I mean, I do like it, but I don't know how it's going to look. I'm not too sure yet. So that's why I don't have it on. But you guys will see when I have it on. You can tell that I'm exhausted. I can't even get my words correctly. <laughs> I can't even get my words right. But just, uh, just, just look on the machine. But don't. Yep. Another thing I noticed, my cold start went away, so I have a cold start three or whatever like that. I kind of want my cold start back because it kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Start like after your car been sitting for so long, you start it up and it's just like starting up like it's just been sitting for five minutes, <laughs> but really you haven't turned it on in like five hours. So I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. So I'll probably ask him to put the cold start back on, but yeah, that's where you're sitting for right now. End this video here. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. If you guys know any information on the Visconti Flex Fuel Kit running with ECU Tech, let me know in the comment section down below and stuff like that. Or let me know your tuning experiences if you ran into any hiccups or any, you know what I'm saying, any headaches and stuff like that. It probably, you know, this stuff probably comes with the game, but I kind of want it just an easy, smooth process, but I guess it's not always going to be like that. It's your boy Fast Life Prince. Catch you guys in the next one. All right.